every pimple, every dark mark. I do use a different highlighter on my face than I do on my eyebrows. If I were to get a nose job, okay. it's gonna look like I got punched in the eye. Hey guys, it's Erin. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my everyday makeup routine. If you want to see how I get this look every single day that I do my makeup, then make sure you keep on watching. Give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications for new videos every single Wednesday at 10 a.m. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So, face is washed, sunscreen, everything. I'm just gonna clip it back so it's not on my face. In case I look over here while I'm doing my makeup, I have my mirror over here. I usually don't wear foundation. I'm currently breaking out quite badly, but even on days when my skin is not the best, I still use concealer. Under my eyes, I use this Morphe Fluidity Concealer in C1.55 and then the Maybelline Fit Me in 15 on the rest of my face. So I'm under each eye like that. And then with this, literally on every pimple, every dark mark you could possibly imagine. Still try to be pretty light with it though. I just forgot a very important step, which was primer. Damn, that does happen some days, but whatever. Here I am, you're basically concealing your entire face. I know, there's this thing I have called acne and it's hormonal and uncontrollable. <coughs> I use a beauty blender for the most part, but on blemishes that are, you know, really red and kind of stand out, I like to use a brush. So I'm gonna blend it with the brush. Then, what I like to do on blemishes that are raised because they catch light super easily I like to take my powder and I use the Cody Airspun I've had this for so long and it's so inexpensive tap some on my finger and I put it on to the blemish to like bake essentially <laughs> now so I'll just take my beauty blender all over the face You can see it's much more brightening um, because it's a little bit lighter than my actual skin tone. I just started doing this recently, even though this has been, you know, done by the beauty community for literally years. But I use my beauty blender to set my face, and I use that much for both of my eyes because that is kind of a lot. So I'll just push it in. Normally, the primer I would use is the Poreless Putty Primer by Elf. And then after I set my under eyes, I go in with this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. And these two are a match made in heaven for blurring away like your pores around here. Last summer, my skin freaked the absolute f*** out. Once you put that on there, they're just, they're erased. That's the only area that I put it. So I'll use the Cody powder on the rest of my face. Now I do my eyebrows. I use the Morphe eyebrow pencil. I'm pretty lucky. I have naturally very full eyebrows, so it doesn't take much for me to be able to fill them in. Like I literally could just walk out of the house like that and lightly. Give it one final little brush through. That's my eyebrow. <laughs> so I don't get them done. I am the only one who touches my eyebrows. Back when I was younger in like elementary school, it was such a popular thing to literally tweeze the f out of your eyebrows. So everybody was having these like really thin eyebrows and I thought, you know, I need to have them. Thank God I never overplucked my eyebrows. And then I like to highlight my eyebrow. This is the e.l.f. highlighter. I have this for literally forever for some reason even though this is supposed to make your eyebrow pop more i feel like it makes it look a little more subtle right i don't know is that just me and then yes i do use a different highlighter on my face than i do on my eyebrows i'm psycho what did you expect for bronzer i use the anastasia saddle powder bronzer i switch between this and the hula one of my all-time favorites like use these interchangeably the only places i put bronzer on is my cheekbones and on my nose so i don't do any on my forehead or my jawline i have pretty naturally defined cheekbones as is so it's pretty easy for me to do bronzer i know it looks like i just got punched in the face but we're gonna blend that because like you can see my forehead is like pretty light because of the powder i just like to take the brush and literally what Whatever bronzer is left on it, I don't dip it in or anything, and I just like to go over my forehead. See? It 
looks normal now. And I take this super, super fluffy brush. This is my favorite brush on planet Earth. It's so soft. And I just go to town at the blending. Even when I do more glam makeup, so whether it's my everyday makeup like this, or if I'm going out somewhere and, you know, I put on, you know, the like fake eyelashes and all that stuff too. I still tend to be pretty natural with it. I don't do colored eye looks on a regular basis. And if you do, good for you. Honestly, I wish I was you and I wish that I had the confidence to pull that off, but I don't. So I just kind of stick to what emphasizes my face the best. Bronzer is blended out. I take this Milani Luminoso blush. This is a dupe for the NARS one. And I have the NARS one. I actually like this one a little bit better. Go on my cheekbones. I also like to put it on my nose. Especially it being summer, just like looking a little sunburned. Now we can get into contouring my nose. And this is by far the part that I have to concentrate the most on. I take my nose contour so seriously. This is what my nose looks like right now. But the second I'm done with it, it is like, if I were to get a nose job, the nose that I would want. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk during this. This is like ultra, this requires ultra maximum capacity concentration right now. I have a very prominent nose bridge, but like the end of my nose is so freaking round and I hate it. But I just follow where this natural line would go if it was just straight and then I do that on both sides and blend it out. I have the initial line drawn and then I just kind of blend that out for a bit and then follow the nose bridge. And then into my eyebrow, that's the biggest thing that makes this look the most natural. Nose contour is done. I switch up my highlighter every single day. Like, I, there's no chance you'll catch me wearing the same highlighter two days in a row. <laughs> so the one I'm gonna use today is the Bare Minerals one in Brie. This one's a lot more natural, so I put this on my cheekbones, of course. No, I feel like the highlighter era has kind of died down. People have either just like stopped wearing highlighter or are doing like very, very natural ones. I like focus it on this like side of my nose here. This is like what really makes the nose job the nose job, you know? So yeah, that's it. That's how I do my plastic surgery for free every single day. <laughs> that's it for my face makeup. So now we can move on into my eye makeup. Okay, so what I do for my eyes is pretty, pretty simple. I use the same bronzer. This way of doing my makeup I think came about because I was running late for class one day, but personally for me, I cannot go to class without makeup on. The second it hits 11 a.m., everyone's dressed really nicely. They have makeup on, they look good. I take my bronzer and this brush and I just stamp it all over my eyelid and then under my eye. It's gonna look like I got punched in the eye, but then we're gonna blend it out. Since a young age, I've loved always doing my makeup and like obviously I wasn't as good at it as I am now I think I do my makeup pretty well at least for my face but because I've always been into makeup I was that kid who always wanted those like play makeup kits from Justice and then I would take like that weird nasty cream and put it all over my eye that was like dark blue and I'd go downstairs and my dad would absolutely flip out because I looked insane my aunt would literally have me do her makeup for like Thanksgiving dinner and like Christmas dinner and so one time she <laughs> liked the way that it turned out so well that she said, you need to give me all of the products you used on my face and I'm gonna go buy them. So I literally, she took me to Sephora and every single thing I used on her face, she bought. I'm gonna blend this out. This is like a clean brush with no additional product on it. And she always refers to me as the niece who can do makeup flawlessly, which I take pride in. <laughs> but I don't think I can do makeup like flawlessly. I just know how to do it well on my face. And I think that's really all that matters. Unless you're a makeup artist, like yeah, you kind of have to know how to work on every sort of face shape and eye shape, which is really difficult. For me, I know what works best on my face and I just kind of try to do that same look while adjusting to other people's facial features. I feel like also when you do natural makeup, natural makeup just kind of looks good on everybody. That can be like, completely controversial. You really can't mess it up as long as you're just going along with their face shape and eye shape. Okay, this is a very Korean slash Asian beauty technique, but I have this eyeshadow single and this very like, it looks literally just like white, but it's like a cream 
eyeshadow. I'm half Asian, so under my eyes, I have, they're called a gyotai in Korean. I put this light eyeshadow on them, like this, just to really emphasize it. And ever since I started doing this, I've never looked back. Like you can just see the difference already and it makes my eye look more closed off, but it all comes it all comes together in the end I look insane with just this on but I promise it, it comes together And because it kind of like matches the shade of my under eye concealer I like to take that same brush that I used the bronzer on and put no product on it and I just like to go under and almost like contour it out Just going underneath Like that for my lid shade i use my anastasia glow kit yes this is our third highlighter it's disgusting but it's my favorite thing of all the time and i use this gold shade here i used to do my eyeshadow a bit different a bit differently and i was using like actual eyeshadow but this came about because again i was running late for class like that now comes the part where i start shaking eyeliner yay i like to use brown eyeliner Personally, I just think it looks more natural than black. This is the Benefit Roller Liner. It's really good full tip liner. I've tried a couple drugstore ones. I think the one that I tried was the CoverGirl one. That one is a literal dog shit. Like that one just sucks. I want to try more brown full tip eyeliner. So the way I do my wing, it's very small, very subtle. Follow the shape of not really how like my eye would continue, but. <laughs> Kind of the direction that my lashes go because I kind of like to make the wing look like it's a part of my eyelashes I don't know if that makes sense But you'll see what I mean when I do my mascara and I don't do any on like my actual waterline It's just like the wing and that's it So I kind of just use this as like a little guide and then I will take my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This is the shade I use as my eyeliner. I will go over the liquid just to not only set it but also there might be like a couple patches in there that I want to fill in. Now, I like my eyeliner to look really sharp underneath. So because it's like a little, little rounded underneath, I'm going to take a Q-tip and some micellar water and just clean that up to make it more sharp. So that's the eyeliner. Very, very subtle, small wing. Now we get into mascara. This is by far the part that probably takes the longest and it's because I'm so picky with my eyelashes. The eyelash curler I use is the Shuomura one. This is like one of the best ones for almond shaped eyes. And the mascara I use is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise in waterproof. Cause if you have Asian eyelashes, you know, not a good time trying to get them to stay up. Kind of doing like little baby pinches for a while. And then at the end I'll do like one big final squeeze and then that's how I can get them to stay up. Naturally, I have pretty long eyelashes. I used to use lash serum and don't get me wrong, they were way longer, but I find myself just very satisfied with my natural eyelashes. So I haven't used serum in probably like six months. I do two and a half coats of mascara, curl and then do an initial coat of mascara, um, one eye at a time, just cause I feel like I'm paranoid that my lashes are gonna fall down. As you can see, there's one eye. We're not done with mascara, but that's just the difference. Surprise, my eyelashes are cooperating with me right now. Full transparency. I have been using fake eyelashes for the past like four days, and last time I did that, I paid the price for it. My eyelashes absolutely hated me for doing that. So I have my first coat of mascara done, and you can tell there's a difference, but I like to do a second coat because it just makes my eyelashes stand out way more. That's the thing I want you to see when I do my makeup. Can you see the difference? You're probably wondering why I put the lash or the mirror under me. It's because then I can like see underneath my eyelashes versus if I just do it straight on, it's kind of a little harder. As a tip that I would have if you are learning how to apply fake eyelashes, by the way, is put the mirror below you like this so that you can really see your lash line. And I also think because I'm like looking down while I'm doing this, it also helps prevent me from hitting my eyelid. Mascara is by far the thing I blow through the fastest in makeup, if you couldn't tell why. I will focus it on the tops or like the ends of my lashes because the darker you make those, the longer your lashes are going to look. I'm telling you, like, I hate when guys have long eyelashes that don't wear makeup. It's such a waste. It's so annoying. I don't like too much 
bottom lash mascara. I just like to make sure that you can see them because I also don't want to cover up like the eyeshadow that I did. Honestly, like that is a little too much. <laughs> I actually used to not put it on my bottom lashes period until one day my grandma came up to me and she goes, did you put like mascara on your bottom lashes? I said, no. And she said, well, go put some on because it looks like you ripped your eyelashes out. And I was like, okay. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> we are almost done. Ulta Beauty Makeup Setting Spray. This is the Control Shine one because I have super oily skin. Even though I want my skin to look dewy, it will in 15 minutes. Like, that's how oily my skin is. That's why I started using matte setting spray instead of dewy ones. Did I even spray my face? That felt like nothing. <sighs> my very, very, very last step of my makeup routine is I like to do my waterline. I can't do my makeup without it now. And the reason I do this after setting spray is because it says it's waterproof, but it is not. The second I put this on and then I spray my face, it bleeds down. This can be pretty scary, but I've done it so much to the point where like it doesn't, like I can kind of just do it now. Well, makeup is done. Um, it looks kind of scary on camera right now, but I will show it to you in natural daylight. I'm going to just take out my hair and um, that's it. I am ready for the day. I am just standing in natural daylight, um, no filter or anything. This is just the way my makeup looks every single day. If you like seeing how I do my makeup every day, please give this video a thumbs up, comment down below anything else you want to see. Subscribe to my channel, you can click on this side of the screen at the end of the video or the little red button down below and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss an upload every single Wednesday at 10 a.m. So you're not going to want to miss those. But I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.